Hello everyone, this is Peter from Patalista with one more video. So today I'm going to talk about the Azure RIT, which is a Azure storage emulator where you can do local development. Uh, most of my videos about Azure functions, sometimes you have to connect to a Azure storage to do your local development, but you don't really need a Azure storage account to do that. You usually have two options. You can either go uh, use it and connect your local environment with your Azure storage account, but you can connect to Azure, which is a open source project where emulates the storage environment and then you not only can do storage uh, uh, containers, you can do queues, you can do table, you can do everything. So I'm just going to demonstrate how to do that using Visual Studio um, code. Um, not using, you can do also using Visual Studio, but I usually don't use Visual Studio for anything. Uh, all my development is doing in Visual Studio, as you can see in my channel. And then I'm just going to quick jump to my terminal here. Um, and then I'm just going to just start um, a new directory just to start a new project in VS, VS Code. So I'm just going to call it as read uh, demo. And I'm just going to change to that one. Just going to start um, a new session here of Visual Studio Code. All right, so once here, um, on the extensions here, I need to install Azure. It, uh, Azure. It. So, oh, this one, which I've already installed on mine. So I'm not going to uninstall, install. If it's the first time you are installing, um, you just, needs to go here and install that simple so for this demo um, besides azure it you also need the azure um, function or azure extension so which sits on that icon here and to install that you just put uh, azure it's which is another microsoft extension for vs code so you can go Azure tools and what I usually do, I install everything. So you can either install like everything or you just need the function. So which I have installed here. So once you have all that installed and then if you want a more detail, I'm assuming that you already know how to create a Azure function uh, using VS code. And I've got other videos that explain that. But someone in my channel um, made a comment here. I'll try to find where it is in my channel. So what motivated me to do this video was this comment here from this user. Uh, he asked me to do a, um, a video using Azure. Um, the same video but using Azure it and I'm just gonna do like a vanilla not a, a durable which is more complicated just for the sake of demonstrating Azure it so that was the motivation and I'm just gonna reply with the video I'm, I I thought that I have done that into durable uh, but uh, I haven't so I've, I've used like storage account but then and then I'm just promised that uh, I'll do a video and that's what I'm doing right now so going back to here, so once I've got all those requirements uh, ready, I can go here and then create a Azure function. I click here, click on the lightning bolt here. Uh, I'll put create a function. I'm just going to create like a simple Python v2. Uh, using 3.11, HTTP trigger, and enter, uh, anonymous. All right, so um, the project was created here, 
But in the local settings, can you see that Azure Blob Storage, there is nothing here. So what do you do here? Can you see that um, in VS Code, I've got Azure it here, Key and Blob Service. You can click any one of those. So let's start Blob Service. So Blob Service is, is running on my um, local host on port 10,000. So once I have that running, I can press now um, F5. So, and then it's gonna, be, gonna ask, in order to proceed, you must connect our storage account. And then I go here and just use local emulator. And then that's gonna, instead of connect to Azure account, it's gonna connect to my Azure. And that's it, my function works. And then I can go here uh, and then run my function. I'm just gonna use this Thunder client here. Um, do a new um, request. So to my function, I think it's uh, name equals John, whatever it is, and then send. There you go, my my function is working and I'm using Azure. It. And then if you can go back here to the local settings, can you see that automatically it put like uh, local development. If you wanted to switch that to a Azure, what you need to do is uh, next time that you press F5, you can just delete that. So every time that you delete that part here, um, uh, that's gonna ask again. So when you start a function, because there is no parameter. And then let's say I wanted to connect to a storage account, and then I can just pick any storage account from my list and automatically populate here the storage account that I'm using. That's pretty much it. There is no much secret here. That's how you use Azure and that's how you can switch from Azure to a storage account. All right, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications and like the video. See you next time.